Step in the box, baseball fans. We're back for another episode. I've been uh, slowly picking up some hanger boxes of Series 1 from either Walmarts, Myers, or Targets. Have 10 of them. The, it's, it's surprising. 2020 Series 1 has been really difficult to find. And um, so when I see one of these hanger boxes, I pick them up. I have 10 of them. Let's see what happens here. I'm always leery of retail. Just inspect the boxes when you get them. Make sure they're glued properly. Make sure the packs are sealed when they're coming out. I'm gonna open all 10. Like I, if you watch any of my earlier videos with series two from last year, 2019 series two, I was buying off eBay, so I didn't want to wait too long to open these. I have a few receipts, and in case in case something does happen where they've been resealed or re-glued, I can return them. If you haven't heard me talk or talk about some of the scammers these guys are doing. Guys are buying these packs, opening them up carefully on the bottom and then resealing them. But these, I've gotten pretty good about inspecting the bottoms. And you can definitely tell how the, um, that they're glued and sealed pretty well. I've also talked about the value of these. I love these hanger boxes. Um, unfortunately, Walmart has raised their prices a dollar, but Target is still $9.99 on these. I think Target might, or uh, Walmart might be $10.98. Same with Meyer. have a feeling that has to do with theft, but the value per card compared to a blaster box, in my opinion, these are the best. Plus, you get the big stack in the middle of inserts. These have the turkey reds, which... Turkey Reds are cool, but the sets kind of run its course. And I haven't opened up much Series 1 this year, so I wanted to open up. That's why the reason I was buying some of these. Man, this one is really sick. Well, they didn't mess around with the glue on these. 2019 was a little different. They were much easier to open. So this one's like, wow. All right, so I'm pretty confident that those... We're all good. Let's look at the, there's, I always like to look at the backs. Mark Kakis, JT Riddle, Michael Bias. See if we can get any Javier Bias. Shane Bieber. See if we can get any of the same ones. Mike Moustakis. Like Series 2, there was a Pete Alonzo on the back a lot of times. Jake Rogers, Ian Kinsler, Sean Murphy. So not all of them were different player on the back. Maybe they got a little better 2020 of mixing them up. So again, we have 10 of these packs, 670 cards. It's a lot of cards. See if we can pull. Two, four, six, eight. I guess we had nine of them. Is that right? I thought I had 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, right here, duh. Didn't see, the camera was blocking that. It's like I knew I had 10. When you have a big old camera in your face. All right, let's uh, step in the box. Let's hit one out of the park tonight. Looking for the big rookies. Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette, Gavin Lux, Nico Horner, and Aquino from the Reds. Get back to... So Dustin May rookie. There's a first one, Nico Horner. First rookie. There we go. Get a big stack of Nico, put him in my PC, my personal collection. Looking for those parallels. I, I do know that there, and there's a good pack. There's a Gavin Lux. His PSA 10 is going for a good chunk. 
All right. So first pack is looking good already. Getting down to the inserts here. Jay Bruce, the gold, Tyler Glass now. He's a pretty good pitcher. We got the Roger Clements rookie insert. And then here comes the Turkey Reds. And then, wow, what a pack this is. So that is the base and a Jordan. What a start. A Lux, a Jordan, and a Nico in the same pack. This is why I like these hanger boxes. Get lots of rookies. There's Lazardo. Kyle Lewis. I'll sort out the rookies, stick those in a box. I already have a box started that's labeled 2020 rookies. And store away some of these guys and see what happens. So there's the first pack was not too bad. Three main rookies. Let's keep on rolling. Hopefully we can pull a few of each guy. It's been scorching hot, super humid, was out today. This morning, I don't know if you saw my video, saw some basketball, still deciding what I'm gonna do with the basketball. It's another Dustin May. Hopefully, so is Dustin May and Nico Horner partnered together? Because if that's so, Maybe we'll pull another Alvarez and Lux. I do not have the sequencing dialed down for Series 1 because I have not opened many of these. If this was Series 2 from last year, I had those dialed down. Like I opened up tons of those. But that would be great if we got another Lux. Got a silver foil. Brennan McKay, that's actually a nice card. Brennan McKay is a pretty good name. I believe he hits as well, unless that's Rogers. I could be wrong. But that's, I'm going to put that in a top loader. Silver foil rookie pitcher. So off to a pretty good start. Got another gold back to back packs. Another one of these rookie insert. Here's a rookie Lux, turkey red. Javi Baez can go on my Cubs. So there's the insert. I think the turkey red ends the insert pile. There's the first Aquino. So this is why I like these hanger boxes. Just let's load up on as many rookies as we can. Storm away. I am trying to bolster up. The price has dropped on Series 2 already. As suspected, I did not think Series 2 was going to be a huge seller. There's only one rookie driving the product. Now, that could change if one of these guys comes up. There's a Javi Baez at the end. That could change if uh, if one of these guys comes up, another rookie or a few, and plays well in this 60 games. But right now, it's Louis Robert or Bust for Series 2. And I bought a little bit, but I didn't want to load up until you know that there's, it's a product, because otherwise it's like, do you want to spend $10 on, on a pack of cards, or do you want to just go buy a Louis Robert rookie card for 10 bucks in a couple weeks when it drops down? That's the dilemma. Okay, so this is one of the Walmart ones. So we got a home run challenge, 
And a Mike Trout, very nice. I'm gonna redeem all these when they start the season. So I'm gonna put that right there. Here's, this is, I don't know why they picked Reese Hoskins. Cool card with Clayton Kershaw. Another rookie insert. Ooh, nice Bo Bichette insert. So I've been looking at another option for selling cards. There's a lot of them out there, Com C. But I ran across on a video this Investacard. And what you do is they send all their submissions to SGC. They take your card. You send in your cards. There's a Jordan Sweet. Not the second Jordan. You send in your cards. They look them over. They send them to SGC, and then they sell them and pay a commission on them. Now, granted, financially, it's not the best deal. It's 40%. You get any card that's under 50 bucks, you get 40%, I believe. There's a tiered breakdown. And, you know, if you're sending out good cards at SGC and they're selling for, you know, 30 bucks, you get $12. Um... I'm going to use a perfect example. Like, like I'm never going to grade these two cards right here, these insert cards. But these are some cards that I'm thinking about sending in. That And you don't pay a dime. All you got to do is pay to ship them there, and then they process them. So let's say that card sells. That card alone does not sell for 8 bucks. But if you send it in and get it graded and it sells for 20 bucks. You get, you get eight bucks for it. So again, there's a lot of factors that I've been kind of going back and forth with, but it's an interesting concept. We got another silver foil. It's a, I'm definitely looking into it. Uh, I heard Nick Slope might be a pretty decent player. It's another reason Series One is pretty hot this year. There's quite a few rookies in this. What do we got here? And we got an Astro Silver Foil. Another gold, just not getting. So here is a Target, a couple of lads. A Pete Alonzo, it's a good looking card. And a Aaron Judge, a couple nice looking cards there. Another Judge, Puig. Got a rookie here. Put that up there. And are on the back side. Really wish we had baseball opening. Too bad the owners of baseball are just total douchebags, in my opinion. We could be having baseball opening up this weekend for four. How awesome would it have been to have a baseball opening up Fourth of July weekend? And instead, these owners just looking at the bottom line and they wanted to play the least amount of games as possible so they could lose the least amount. And yeah, it's not my money. But in the long run, they could have gained a lot of fans by doing so. But instead, they had to be buttholes and go through and battle this whole thing. It's really... I'm excited for baseball to come back. I hope it comes back, but we could be playing baseball already. Makes no sense to me. So I'll go through after this and sort all the rookies out. Sort the cards. So I got a mix of Walmart cards and target cards. Here is the Pete Alonzo. Stupid card. A card of a card. A blue border insert of JD or Martinez. Reese Hoskins insert set. Put that in my PC. I think I already have that one, but that'll go. I have a box that I just keep cubs. Hank Aaron, that looks good. Here's a Bo Bichette, another one, turkey red. So these are the kind of cards that I'm talking about of possibly sending in where I don't want to spend my own money to get them graded, but we'll see. I'm going to have to do a little more research on that. 
I might send like a hundred cards and see what happens. A little trial run. I have a hundred cards just like that. I could do the paper Bowman like rookie cards of Lux and Bichette and Jordan. The Louis Robert, which I've, I'm not going to get those graded. So those are those are the kind of cards that I won't get graded. I usually stick to hot flagship cards. So we're halfway halfway done. We've pulled a couple good rookies. Nothing major. Nothing else than gold, which that's the difference between Series 1 this year and, and 2020 Series uh, in Update. Or 2019 Series 2 and, and 2019 Update is... you. The parallels were coming out quite a bit easier where it is tough to hit good parallels in Series 1 this year. They made more of this. Got a silver foil. How about a Jordan Alvarez silver foil? Mike Moustakis silver foil. Blue border, Jackie Robinson. We got the... Top's Choice, Randy Johnson, Whit Merrifield, you got a rookie there, you got Glaber Day, El Tuve, he's going to get beamed on opening day, hope everybody's doing good, hopefully you can find some cards to open. Like I said, these 10 hanger boxes I've purchased over the, like the last month. And I just been kind of, I found a couple the other day, found a couple today, found several last week, and I've just kind of put them, I put them aside to open. And today seemed like a good night to open some cards. Good chunk of cards. This is like open up a hobby box, really. Hundred dollars worth of cards at non hobby hobby prices. Somebody comment below how much is a hobby box of series one going for now? It's gotta be 150 bucks, doesn't it? Toro. I always overlook that rookie card right there when I'm sorting. It's hard to see the rookie. So we have a Chrome Stanton. I got a, ooh, in a short print, a Brooke Crowns and Tragger. My dog's in here with me. So here's the Chrome Turkey Red. I got a big stack of those. And then a Brooks Robinson short print. I was really hoping to pull the 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 Gavin Luck short print. So that's a nice card. Kind of making a stack here. And then the Hoskins inserts. Kansas City. Got Ozzie Smith. Pete Alonzo, Devers, Rendon, and Posey. And then off to the base cards. Another Kyle Lewis. I like Kyle Lewis. Seems like the hobby likes Kyle Lewis. We'll put him away for later on to evaluate. Sean Murphy. Got the ups. I should have flipped these over, but the minute you flip them over, you end up... Uh, Flipping back and forth. Okay, three more to go. And nothing, nothing major. We're looking for one card. One card is all it takes. One parallel card of one of the big rookies. Let's do it. It's been so humid here. It's been around 90 and humid.
Got a gold card, I think. Maybe not. Got the tops now. You've heard me talk about those on past videos if you're not new. And there's the gold to 2020. Got the Brewers. I guess it's not the Brewers. It was uh, Nolan Arenado. So all-star game. Griffey. J.D. Martinez hits dingers. Hoskins. There's another judge. A.J. Puck. He's another one. I don't sleeve pitchers, but he's another one that could be a good... That could be a good card down... That way down the road. Probably heard me talk about rookie pitchers. Those pitchers just don't become worth any money until... Till they go to the Hall of Fame. I mean, pretty much. Like like Walker Bueller and those guys, they're stud pitchers, and they're, you can get their cards cheap. Clayton Kershaw, you can still go get Clayton Kershaw cards for fairly cheap. And when that guy goes to the Hall of Fame, his prices are going to go up. Guaran guaranteed. If you're looking for a longer-term investment, go buy some PSA 10s of Walker Bueller. Get some parallels. I haven't even looked at prices of Walker Bueller. Or not Walker Bueller, but uh, Clayton Kershaw. Go buy some parallels. Get some PSA 10s. And then when he retires and gets voted in the Hall of Fame, that card's going to go up. We got a Silver Foil and a Dustin May. Second rookie pitcher. Silver Foil. It's a nice looking card. It's got a, got a bad corner on the bottom right, which is a bummer. I don't know if you can see it. Bad corner. Bummer. Definitely not going to PSA 10 that one. Unfortunate. It's the, the bummer about the hobby. When you get a decent card and then it's dinged. Enough. This is the third Bo Bichette, turkey red. It's crazy. All right, let's keep it rolling. Almost down to the last pack. I was really hoping to pull a rookie short print. But I think we probably pulled our only short print we're going to get. I think if I look the last time, that the short prints were about one in nine of these. I could double check that, but I'm not going to. We're due for, we started off strong on the rookie side and it's kind of fizzled out here. I forgot how hard it was to pull rookies out of 2020 series one. Like I said, got super hot out of the gate And then have fizzled out. All right, last pack. Again, thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Always love reading the comments. Spread the word. Appreciate you guys who watch. There's several of you who, who watch all the videos. I appreciate it. Here's the flip game right here. We got a silver foil. Is it going to be a rookie? It is not a rookie. Got a gold behind it. And we got a rookie gold. Don't know anything about Josh Rojas. It's got a little bit of damage right corner, a lot some white. So again, another rookie, but damage corner. So that's a bummer. We got the Hoskins inserts. Got the 1950s. Matt Chapman. Here's our turkey reds. B.A. 
short print on the back end of these because the short print's the last card. Come on, be a short print. Not a short print. So no, there's an Aquino. I'll do a little breakdown of the rookies. That's, I believe that's the second Aquino. I know we've had one Horner. One, two Alvarez or one Alvarez? We'll look at it. The upside down to finish. Glaber. And there we have it. So that was our stack. Didn't hit any monsters. That was a, you can get an idea of the big stack of inserts right here. That's all inserts that weren't pulled. All the turkey reds. I pulled my two Cubs inserts. Pulled these two rookie turkey reds. Pulled the short print of Brooks Robinson and uh, the Judge Chrome. Got the Mike Trout Home Run Challenge card. I will redeem this for sure. Pulled the rookie inserts here as well. Kind of put those in a pile. Got the rookie color. So a gold Rojas, Dustin May foil, Brennan Rogers foil. And then let's look at our rookies. Keno, I'm just going to the Bochette. The Lux, Horner, Alvarez, Lux. So two Horners, two Alvarez. So, man, no Bobachette base. Two Jordans, one Lux, two Aquinos, two Horners, and not one. Boba Shet base, which is a total bummer. And we got the Turkey Reds. So overall, not awful, not great. The base rookies, in my opinion, this is this is where, like right here, these three cards. These three cards. I'll look at them. Hopefully send those to PSA. If you get all three in 10, you actually, you're in profit, even with the fees. So these three cards, base cards, go look up a Gavin Lux PSA 10 and Jordan Alvarez PSA 10. They're going for some pretty decent money. So again, thanks for subscribing. Please comment, share, like. Have a great 4th of July weekend. Stay safe out there. Peace.